Welcome to the project demonstration of Android Bluetooth phone controlled robots with bomb detection. So here we are going to control this robot movement in four directions along with the stop, forward, backward, left, right and stop. And that commands will be getting from this Android mobile phone through the Bluetooth. And the commands will be received by this HC05 Bluetooth module. And that was input to the PIC16F72 microcontroller at B0, B1. And based on the input signal from this module, the system will control the robot movement. So we are using robot which is made up, uh, made up of uh, 60 RPM, 4 DC motors and in that these two are in uh, parallel and these two are in parallel so that we can control the robot movement in 4 directions and uh, the battery volt, uh, the voltage for this motors is 12 volts and that 12 volts is getting from this 12 volt 1 amp battery pack so this battery pack consists of 3 4 volt 1 amp batteries are in series so we will get 12 volt 1 amp DC output and that is input to this L293D motor driver so this motor driver consists of uh, one is 7805 regulator which will regulate the 12 volts DC to 5 volts DC and that is the operating voltage of our Bluetooth module and our microcontroller and our metal detector and a 12 volts DC is input to the motors through this L293D motor driver so l 2 motor driver which can control the two DC motors at a time in bi-direction manner so though we are using the four DC motors in that these two are in series sorry in parallel so micro for the L293D these two are considering as a one motor as these two are in parallel and this l 293 motor driver is connected to the microcontroller at C0, C1, C2, C3 pins so here uh, let us see the demonstration so before demonstration keep the battery under full charge for that purpose just connect the B at this B slot and a transformer at this T slot and on the power supply 230 volts AC input to this and there we can see the LED indication so the battery will get fully charged in a duration of 6 hours minimum 8 hours maximum till that duration keep the battery under charging and uh, after that you can disconnect that so after getting uh, batteries fully charged now we need to install an application that is available in the play store that is HC05 type HC05 in play store you will get this icon install the app application and configure the buttons so initially it will come with m1 to m6 just press and hold so configure that forward and uh, the value is going to be the small f like that backward small b and the left small l right small r uh, stop small s so like that we, uh, we need to configure the five buttons okay after the configuration let me show you from initially onwards now on the power supply to the kit so initially this light will on and off fast so we need to pair Very, uh, when you are demonstrating the project uh, first time in your mobile phone at first we need to pair from the settings so go to bluetooth settings and search for the HC05 so once HC05 appear click on that it will ask for the password 1234 is the password after pairing from that we can see the HC05 in our pair devices so next time onwards directly you can go to the application right so serial and now options devices HC05 so once successfully paired we can see the device is connected now we can control the robot just touch on that we can control the robot movements so left and right so while moving if any like metal detected then you will get the buzzer indication from this metal sensor right you can see that right forward stop right so here we can see this So is the transformer also metal? We can hear the sound also. Right. 